two, one. Hello, Centerville Mustang families. Um, thanks so much for attending our back to school night. I'm Walt Lewis, the proud principal of Centerville Junior High School. I'd like to start off this presentation by thanking each of you for your support this year, whether it was through ensuring that the technology is working in your house so students can access classes, dropping by Centerville for materials or devices, assisting your child with the organization or sending a friendly message to a teacher or a staff member, your unwavering support has been incredible. I asked each of you to work with us and provide grace and patience as we completely restructure the way we deliver instruction to your students. You continue to exhibit that patience and grace as we continue to change everything we knew before about educating junior high students. And for that, I give you my sincerest thanks. Now to say that the start of this year has been a challenge to our Mustang community is completely understating the obstacles we have all faced. Our theme as a staff this year has been climbing the summit. And during our professional development days before school started, we focused on all the tools that we would need to climb the summit. So we really focused a lot on technology but we also realize we must rely on a team to reach the top. This year, more than ever, we relied upon the homeschool connections and value the powerful partnership between parents, teachers, staff members, and students. Each of us is a valuable member of this team to support the academic, social, emotional, and physical growth of all of our students. Only by working together can we reach the top and ensure that each student is successful. I'd like to take a moment to introduce a few people that are an integral part of our team on our climb to the summit. To start with, the Centerville Counseling Team should be viewed as an amazing resource for the social emotional health of our students. Our counselors are amazing academic counseling resources. Here to speak on behalf of the counseling department are Rebecca, Glaze, Rachel, and Rachel Guy. So with that said, I'm gonna let them take it away. Good evening, Centerville families. I'm Becca Glaze. I'm the seventh grade counselor. It is so nice to be here with you. Um, we have, we're really fortunate to have three counselors here at Centerville, Miss Guy, myself, and we have um, a part-time counselor as well, Miss Shrink, who's also here to check in. I'm gonna tell you about one aspect of our counseling, which is our academic portion. Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces. I really love doing academic counseling with the students. We meet with the students, all of the students in their classrooms. Um, we are currently in seventh grade math classes doing college and career presentations. And we talk about high school graduation requirements, what it's going to be like for their six year plan from now until graduation from high school. And then we kind of help them think about life after high school and what their goals and their dreams are. Um, we try to make a connection between education and the amount of money that they'll make and what kind of lifestyle they'd like to have as adults. And then we talk about different op options for them, trade schools, the regional occupational program, colleges, um, and different things like that. We also do some work with social emotional learning and Miss Guy is going to talk about that next. All right, thank you, Ms. Glaze. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Rachel Guy, and I am the eighth grade counselor here at Centerville. Um, and I will be talking about the social emotional support that we counselors are providing to students to help them feel connected here at Centerville. Um, so one thing that we do is lunch groups and activities throughout the year. Um, so for example, last week we started a Friday lunch bunch where any student can drop in on Fridays to chat, play games and connect. Um, we also will be running other lunchtime clubs such as Latinx Culture Club and WEB. Um, WEB stands for Where Everybody Belongs and it's a junior high transition program that welcomes seventh graders and helps them feel comfortable and connected throughout their first year of junior high. Um, this year we were really excited. We got 
over 400 students logged in, 400 seventh graders logged in on Web Orientation Day. And um, throughout the year, your counselors and um, the eighth grade web leaders will be hosting other activities such as Kindness Month. Um, we also will be doing some social emotional learning classroom lessons in January. Um, we will be visiting all of the elective classes for that. Um, and then I wanted to talk a little bit about SAVE. In October, we have an organization called SAVE that will be coming into classrooms to provide lessons on healthy relationships. Um, and then I also wanted to mention that we run the school Instagram page, us counselors and leadership, and we are at Centerville underscore Mustangs, and it's a great place to follow us, get updates and information from us. We also send out school loop messages when we have information that will be helpful for you to know. Um, and so our transition counselor, Ms. Schrank, is going to be talking a little bit about one-on-one -on -one and small group support next. Awesome, thanks, Rachel. Hello, everyone. My name is Laura Schrank, and um, it's nice to be here tonight with everybody. I have an awesome job and position to be able to work with our eighth graders and help transition them to ninth grade. So as they are transitioning from Mustangs, I bring them to become Huskies over at the high school. And my job is to just make sure that that transition is as smooth as possible. Um, this year, our counselors have really awesome Google Classrooms um, that the 7th and 8th graders have been notified about. And so if they, you have any information you need, they post really great information on there. I run, um, I'm an advisor for one of the clubs. So if you're looking for club information, the counselors have all of that posted on their Google Classrooms, which is really awesome. I typically am doing small group work, so Ms. Guy could recommend students to see me. Make sure like if we're having a hard time with school, might have some anxiety about school or just need some extra help, then we can go into a smaller group and make sure that you're getting all the needs um, met for your student. Ms. Guy and Ms. Glaze also do small groups and all three of us do one-on-one -on -one counseling as well. So please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Also on their Google Classrooms, they have a request form if you wanna see a counselor. So that's a great way to get in contact with them. They typically pass along those requests if it's specifically for me because I'm going between both schools, but I'm always available um, if anyone needs me. So again, I'm at Centerville and Washington High School. We're really glad that you're here tonight. Thank you, Ms. Trank. So um, speaking of social and emotional health, we know that students that are involved do well in school. We also know that in a distance learning format, it's going to look significantly different to see what student involvement is. Students will still be able to participate in clubs and other events, even if it is through a video screen and not in person. So we're planning several spirit events, for an example, an Instagram con costume contest around Halloween. And we'll soon begin a morning announcement broadcast, and we'll also be asking students to provide video for these announcements. Uh, Mr. Shrink, can you mute yourself, please? We will continue to run our associated student body with a representative from every class, and eighth grade students will be able to run as officers for this year. Our Where Everybody Belongs leaders will continue to reach out uh, to our seventh graders to help them navigate junior high school. And students can participate in clubs during lunch and after school if they so choose. Currently, students and teachers are planning a debate club, social justice club, gay straight alliance, Latinx club, African American club, and we're still planning on having a game room on certain days during lunch. In the past, we've had many more special interest clubs, things like K-pop, chess, on anime, and depending on student interest, we expect that these are gonna start up again as well. And soon our end of the year eighth grade celebration committee will start planning for what an eighth grade celebration will look like should we remain on distance learning. This is a committee of students, parents and staff members and we'll be starting that up this fall so we can be well prepared in the spring. This year it may be tougher to show our Centerville spirit, but I gotta be honest, we can't keep that Centerville pride down. When those events come around, please encourage your children to participate. Encourage them to get involved. Now, one of our most important partnerships is between the PTSA or the Parent Teacher Student Association and the school. This group of dedicated individuals provides support to all Centerville students. And I encourage each of you to join our PTSA and get involved with our school community. 
Here to speak on behalf of our PTSA is Linda Lacari, our PTSA president. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Principal Lewis. Uh, hello, everyone. I hope uh, everyone is doing well. My name is Linda Lacari, and I am your PTSA president. Even though this year does look very different than years past, uh, the Senegal Junior High still needs your, our support. Your PTSA is actively supporting our students and teachers, and we could not do this without parent support. Please consider joining the Centerville PTSA. Your $10 membership will help make a difference in our students' success. Also, if you have a seventh grader, or if you know any parents with sixth graders, please consider taking on a leadership role next year. All positions are available and are a one-year commitment with a limit of two consecutive years. The positions of president, treasurer, and secretary are required positions to continue as a viable unit. If you have any interest or have any questions, please reach out. We can be reached by email at centervilleptsa at gmail.com. Thank you and have a good evening. You can also join the Centerville PTSA with the totem link on our school webpage. It's there as well. As many of you already know, our assistant principal, Dr. Ray Raskop, retired over the summer. Dr. raskop has been a dedicated Fremont educator for 17 years and 12 of those years as assistant principal at Centerville. We had a really great celebration for him. It was a socially distanced celebration, but it was a wonderful celebration to celebrate his career. Dr. Raskop will certainly be missed and his impact over the past 12 years felt for years to come. But in that, we are fortunate to welcome Meryl Grimmer in her new role as an assistant principal. Welcome, Meryl. Good evening. My name is Meryl Grimmer, and I'm the newly appointed assistant principal at Centerville Junior High. While I'm new to administration, I am not new to the Centerville community. I've just started my ninth year as a Centerville Mustang. Previously, I was a special education teacher working SDC mild moderate and resource, and also served as the special education department chair. Most recently, I supported Centerville as a Title I specialist and served as coordinator of many programs on site. While all established rules still apply to keep in line with our school-wide three R's, respect, responsibility, and readiness to learn, we have had to make some adjustments due to distance learning. I'd like to give you a friendly reminder <clears throat> of the expectations we have this year. In order to make sure our students have the safest safest experience possible in the classroom. We ask all students to enter class with their video on, keep their video on, use their correct name, have their audio muted unless instructed otherwise, use only academic language in the chat function for academic purposes only, and under no circumstance are Zoom class links to be shared unless with an adult within the household. These simple steps will ensure the safety of all of our students. I'm here to support you and your student in your adventures of junior high. I'm proud to be a Mustang and look forward to meeting you either virtually or in person in the near future. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact me via email or phone. I'm here to support you and your student any way I can. Thank you, Meryl. So the staff and faculty have done an amazing job switching to distance learning in a relatively short time frame. Now this has required a great deal of effort, not only on the part of teachers, but on the part of all of our staff. I wanna take a moment to not only thank our teachers, but also to thank our instructional assistants, custodial staff, campus supervisor, child nutrition staff, instruction and front office staff all have shifted their jobs to accommodate this new way of teaching and learning. Our front office staff have not only continued their jobs, but also have taken on the responsibility of being the help desk. And I assure you, each of us is learning new things about all of the technology that is necessary to continue supporting distance learning. Our office staff has spent countless hours supporting students and getting them connected and I wanna thank each of you that have reached out to not only our office staff, but all of our staff, thanking them for their efforts. Uh, those have been well-received message that I often hear about. As we move through the school year, there are many things I'm concerned about for our Mustang students. 
I'm concerned regarding the amount of screen time, not only for students when they're in classes, but when they're not in classes. I'm concerned that our students, all of whom are normally active, are finding it more difficult to get the exercise they need. I'm also concerned that with the difficulties in technology, at times our students may experience some gaps in learning. But there are several things I know to be true. Our teachers are constantly reviewing practices to help ensure students are able to learn. I'm constantly popping into classes and I am amazed at how creative our teachers have been and how quickly they've been able to develop caring and compassionate communities, even over a distance. Our parent community has always supported not only their own children, but the greater Centerville community as well. And mostly I have faith that our students are flexible, responsible, and inventive. We are all learning life lessons right now. Our students are learning resilience, self-management skills, and how to take charge of their own learning. The shift to distance learning has been difficult, but every day is a step toward climbing that summit. So a few announcements before we head off to our back to school night presentations. You should have received emails with links to each of your presentations. Although we would love to keep the chat open and the unmute button off in each of these sessions, because of the limited time in these sessions, we can't be as interactive as we had in the past. But I do encourage you, if you, you should have a question about something you, you have seen this evening, feel free to reach out to the teacher of the session you're in. And we really thank you for your understanding in this. The teachers are also missing that interaction that they've typically had with the parent community and have expressed that as well. So feel free to reach out to them. And finally, I'd like to say that American author Edward Abbey has been quoted as saying, may your trails be crooked, winding, lonesome, dangerous, but leading to the most amazing views. May your mountains rise into and above the clouds. And as we face the challenges of the 2020-21 school year, I'm sure we will all find the most amazing view when we have reached the top. Thank you all this evening for being here. And I encourage you to attend your sessions. And I encourage you to reach out to the teachers and to the staff here at Centerville to get your assistance when needed. Again, my thanks and have a great evening.